Okay guys, so get this. Logic has continually taken the brunt of some of Joe Budden's harshest criticisms. After Bobby Tarantino announced he was retiring from rap after No Pressure was released, the former Everyday Struggle co-host said he should have retired a long time ago. But in a rare break from form, Budden issued an apology for his remarks during a recent episode of the Joe Budden podcast. With rap in his rear view, Logic sat down with Hot 97 host Peter Rosenberg, who asked if Budden's attacks had been annoying and whether he'd seen Budden's apology. The Maryland native admitted he didn't catch it because he doesn't watch Budden show and insisted he has nothing against the ex slaughterhouse MC. Have Joe Budden's attacks on you been annoying? Like what, how do you, how do you accept those? Joe is obviously incredibly smart. He's a useful, great voice in the culture. He can also be an asshole. That's kind of part of his charm. Um, yeah. But this time he kind of apologized and, and kind of saw that he got it wrong. I've been, I've been frustrated by his opinion on this before, but how did you take his sort of critiques of you, if you want to call it that? It's, I've never watched Joe, I just don't because I don't want to subject myself to that personally, right? But it's yes. like for him to say whatever he's going to say, no problem, whatever, do your thing. So I didn't see the apology. Um, I also didn't see like his review of the album or any of this. Um, but yeah, I, I was talking to Markman about this and I literally have no issue with Joe Budden. I've never met him. I don't know him. I've never shaken his hand. We've never had a conversation as men. Um, uh, this is what he does. He doesn't rap anymore. You know what I mean? He, the culture and this and that, and that's cool. I'm not in control of this guy. This dude doesn't like me for whatever reason. He wants to say I'm not black enough. I'm not good enough. That has led, he's a person who's led to part of my depression. at some of my darkest spaces and he can take that however he wants. He could take it as, Oh, I'm not in bro. Your words, they may, they may make people want to kill themselves. Dog. Um, and that's a real thing, but to be strong enough to also understand that like, that's not the end all be all and other people aren't the end all be all and i'm not up at night like oh my god i can't sleep you know what i mean it's just but what like about just how nice you are with the ball i mean there is for me the frustration is let's just talk about your rapping like you you really have shown time and time again your pocket's incredible um you have a great voice um the, the, your beat selection is among the best of anyone over the last decade. Like, I really, I really believe that, bro. Logic has been open about his struggles with mental health, which is presumably partly why his fan base can connect with him. His 2017 magnum opus, 1-800-273-8255, was named after the number for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, and his accompanying video detailed the turmoil teenagers often go through. The song peaked at number three on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and received nominations for Song of the Year and Best Music Video at the 60th Annual Grammy. Grammy Awards. Logic already has his sights set firmly on the future. After signing a seven-figure deal with Twitch, he told Billboard he plans to do beat giveaways on the popular streaming platform. There's some people on Twitch that like to do giveaways, he said. I want to make beats for up-and-coming rappers on the spot and give it to them for free. And if they take it, don't charge them and don't even take publishing. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with Logic that Joe Budden's words can make you want to kill yourself? Or is he just being too sensitive? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.